Ah, Jeffrey wants to work today, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla Part 40. 40. Keep that in mind. The last time that we were here and we were streaming this game, we were in the 70s. And as of right now, we are um, 102 hours, 28 minutes, and 4 seconds. So, you're... You, I'm probably thinking that, like, at least, like, what was the, what, uh... What was the amount of hours I did in my original playthrough? Like, 193? So that, that is probably gonna make a shit ton of sense, honestly. Where are we going? Let's see you, old friend. I have no fucking clue where I'm going. Infiltrate the old city. That's what I was trying to do, at least. Let's go back to that viewpoint and see, like, where we actually gotta go. <clears throat> Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I'm having a decent day. Um, yeah, I'm kind of having an alright day. I feel fatigued a little bit. I think me and my wife are sick because, like, she feels fatigued as well. So, like, that's fucking fun. Love that. Oh shit, that's that's a death. That's a death. They will sing our song. Yeah! We shall bring Sorter the one-eyed head oh! of me and become Lord That's a great start, isn't song. it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh god, dude. <laughs> this is such a fucking horrible decision. Why did I do that? Oh, man. Hey, Mac. How's it going, dude? Glad that you uh, jumped into the stream at, uh... God, <laughs> you stepped into the stream at the perfect time, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. I can't even blame anybody but myself, dude. That was, that was just fucking terrible. That was just fucking terrible. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Thinking, oh, yeah, I'm gonna survive. Like, it's Odin. No. No, it's not. They will sing our song, brother. We shall bring Sorter, the one-eyed head of Havi, and become lords of Muspelheimer. Shout of your success when the deed is done. Until Havi is dead, shut your gob. I'll wager that old goat still has some tricks to play on us. Uh, a little bit. So Mac, you hate you hate <laughs> Unity now? <laughs> oh, I'm just glad it's not just me, man. Like I don't know, I feel like 
I feel like Unity is like so much worse than what people remember, and that's like really, really it's, like frustrating as hell. That's like frustrating as fuck. Dude, this level design looks cool. I give Ubisoft props for the environments in this game. Just as much as fucking Odyssey. <laughs> that's that's pretty bold. I. I. Oh. Aina said Fridjofa and Tira would await me somewhere beyond these gates. I don't like. Honest to God, like at least. This area is off limits. I'll give Odyssey some credit. At least, at least it fucking plays well. You know what I mean? Like at least, at least like when you when you go to play it, it's not like it's not like completely broken. Honestly, God, I'm so fucking surprised that that game has more has a, has uh, as many bugs as it does. And I think that's like the most frustrating part because like you would like you I I would love the game. Honest to God, I would love the game. But there's just so many fucking issues. Like, there's so many issues. Like, it's just, it's just ridiculous. But no, I, no, I definitely, I definitely agree with the, uh, with the leveling design of, where are we at? I don't even know where we're at. I, I, actually, I should probably look that up. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta... Spartalheim. Spartalheim. That's the that's the realm that we're in right now. I had to, I had to look it up right quick because I couldn't I couldn't remember I couldn't remember like which one we were in because the other one was Asgard. Uh, the other one I can't remember. I take that back. Odyssey is way better than Unity, but not good enough for a second run on Odyssey. Hell, I don't even know why I fucking installed Unity in the first place. That shit has. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, like, bro, I want to give it a second chance, too. I really do, because, like, it, I don't know. I honestly think, I honestly think that it's worse than what people remember. Honest to God, I think it is. Because, like, if, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it, I think it's way worse. I think it's way worse than what people remember. Like, I, like... Unity has always been looked at, and I think I think people play the modded version, where it gets rid of the glitches, it gets rid of, it makes the parkour even better than what it is, and I think that's what people play, but if you're like the sorry suckers like us, who play the original, and that's it, Unity is not that good. It's not that good, and, um, like... Bro, like, I, I don't know. I was, I think that's like the biggest disappointment in the marathon was how much I just absolutely despised Unity by the end of the, by the end of the game. I, I, I was, I think that's like the biggest disappointment in, in the entire fucking marathon. Honest to God. Hey there, what's going on, dude? How's your day going today? Oh, okay, we actually found, uh, we actually found old, old boy, old girl, something like that. Yeah, because apparently, apparently if you put mods, if you put mods into Unity like the PC gamers do, Unity is so much better. Like, if you actually, like, watch Altair Stealth, He's playing a version of Unity. He's playing a version of Unity that's like so much fucking better than like than 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 our version. You know what I mean? Because they actually fixed what Ubisoft literally refuses to fucking fix. And it's just it's just wild that like they don't I mean literally like we're still getting Mirage updates and we really shouldn't. Like 
we got fucking Valhalla updates like four years after the fucking game came out. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not four years, but it was it was a good amount of time. Finally, you made it. Yeah, fuck you. Wait, you you could see now? Careful. That sounded like you doubted me for a moment. What of your eyes? Are they mended? Getting there. Recovering. Thank the gods. You're welcome. Now then, show me what to do with this augmented sunstone. Aenard? Alive, last I saw. But old and slow. We must begin without him. Please, Please augmented sunstone on the pedestal. Who do y'all think would win? Asgard versus Wakanda Asgard? You know what must be done. Just because Thor could destroy Wakanda? Oh, yeah, like... There's no fucking... I mean, dude, like, I, as far as I can tell, like, the Black Panther universe, all it is is literally just, like... They're, they're just enhanced. That's it. Like, but, like... They're facing off against gods, and, like, Thor alone would literally fuck everybody up. Like... It wouldn't even be close. Surely it cannot be so simple. No. no. This mechanism... What was it? I think yes. We need more light to converge here, on this spot. Leave it to me. See what the light reveals. Yet, oh! sunstone hungers. Honestly, like... Black this. Panther... Black Panther is the only one that actually has, like his strength enhanced because he is the Black Panther, right? Which means, like, everybody else is, like, human. Working. He knows what's right. <laughs> the Sunstone must be satisfied. Now the relic will be mine. I do like the level designs, though. I like, like, I like what the fucking fire the guys look like, too. Of the Ancients. Couldn't have said it better myself. What is wrong? Why isn't it opening? Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, I'd feel a lot more confident if my father was. <gasps> uh oh. Oh Get no. I'll stretch my fighting arm. Why does. Why does. Uh. still very rusty at this game, bro. Very rusty. I used to be able to, like, like, dodge and weave, like, very, very, like, easily, but I, like, I, I'm having, like, I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's all good. It's done. Armpits. What are you doing here, you one-eyed shitbag? Hey, fuck you! Seeking a relic. It's somehow grown more wrinkly and ill-tempered since I last saw it. Fuck off. 
Looking for this, I'd wager. The mighty relic! Piece of junk. I took out all the good stuff already. What? What? Then we shall take our leave. Quickest way out is through the front. You... I wish in Infinity War they would have used Vision a lot more. Oh, fair, and I, you must have not seen the movie. They, he was there. He was there, like, a lot. He was just getting his ass beat, like, <laughs> the whole movie. <laughs> the whole fucking movie. He was just getting his ass beat, bro. No, I totally agree, though. Like, Vision, Vision got fucking done dirty, man. He was literally Don't fucking getting his ass Boston. whooped from, like, how to torture the door. minute That's he true. fucking ended up on the screen. Like, the minute he fucking, like, appeared on the screen, like, he literally started getting his ass whooped and shit, so. I think my fa- I'm like, I, I think I've said this before, but my favorite character from that movie is definitely Captain America. I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, attracted to men in the fucking slightest. At all. But here's the fucking thing. Captain America in Infinity War, with the beard and the fucking, like, the longer hair... That could turn a straight man gay. It can. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Jesus what Christ. What do we have here? The high one. Stealing again. No reason why Captain America looked like that shit. And with his little friends. My stepson takes his mongrel Sin eyes Mara. off for one second. Oh God. And look at this mess. To think his father expects him to rule Muspelheim one day. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She's one of the bad ones. She's the... She's nothing. But she has the Reek's blood on her hands and must pay. Find another way out. Uh, the way we got in, quick! Get to the shelter. I'll see to her. Uh oh. Promises, promises. Give me my son, and I shall torture you. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, now I know, I know that fucking, uh, I know fire doesn't affect them for obvious reasons, so. Oh, God, all right, all right, all right. Easy, easy, easy. Easy! Is that a double? Get off. Get Go! You're oh shit, you're running after me, bitch! Oh my god. Oh! That's right, you mewling quim. Run back to Suter. Yeah, bitch. <sighs> Fuck off me. The shelter. I must speak with Baldi. I'm so glad they got these mushrooms, like, just sitting here. I feel great. Uh, let's go. Cap is bay. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Honest to God. Honest to God, bro. In Endgame, I was completely fine with everybody dying. I swear to God. Everybody. I was like, ah, you know what? Um, fucking, uh, fuck, Scarlett Johansson's character? Okay, like, you know, maybe she wants to do something else. Tony Stark? Okay, I was a little, I was a little mad at it. Like, I was, I was like, especially, like, how he died, so, like, heroically. It was like, okay, like, that, that's, that hurts a little bit. And then we got all the way to the fucking end, and Captain America literally fucking lived through the fucking fight. I thought I had I heard rumors and shit that he was gonna die and all that shit. And um And then like he made it. He made it past the battle. And the minute he stepped into that motherfucking that time machine, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna write him off too. And as soon as he didn't fucking go through the the uh as soon as he didn't appear back at the fucking, uh, at the time machine, and they fucking went over, and I saw the silver fucking haired fuck, I was like, you have got to be shitting me. Loved how they wrote his character off, because, like, at the end of the day, he fucking got, like, what he wanted for, like, forever. Like, he got, like, his, uh, he got, like, his happy moment with, like, Peggy and shit. I would, my fucking selfish ass 
was so fucking upset because like I love Captain America, dude. He was so he was so badass. Like it was just God. I was I was so fucking upset. I was in the theater, bro. I was in the theater when they showed that fucker on the bench. I was literally in the theater like this. Hands on my head, fucking shocked out of my mind. Endgame was such a fucking... Endgame, Endgame was such a... Uh, it was three hours of just stress and just greatness. Like, I prefer Infinity War. I do. I, I, I think Infinity War was technically a better movie. But, or like, I, I prefer Infinity War, I guess I could say. Because, like, I don't think... I can't say I can't say that it's a better movie overall. Cause I thought I thought Infinity War was like just was fucking unbelievable from start to finish. God damn, bitch! But I just couldn't believe I couldn't believe like how like how Endgame fucking ended and shit. I was so fucking upset. I was so upset. And then literally, and then literally, like, after Endgame, the Marvel Universe just went down to shit. <laughs> it just fucking, it just fucking went to hell, dude. It just went to all hell. Like, it, like I don't think they've come out, other than, like, the Spider-Man movie where they had all three of the fucking Spider-Men in it. I don't think there's been a good movie that comes out ever since then. I don't think. I mean, I haven't really, I, I mean... Endgame was like the end for me. I, all, after that, I was literally just like, do I really need to watch this anymore? Like, you kind of took like the original, like the OG characters away and now I'm not really like, I'm not really interested anymore. You know what I mean? Like, you're a good man, DBZ. No, he ain't it. No, he ain't. He's a great man. He's a legend. Not only he a king, he a god. What the fuck? Rush Zimmer for sure. I enjoy these streams. They make my day. I appreciate that, guys. Shit. I appreciate that. Yeah, Chris Evans' contract was over. That's why they retired Cap in Endgame. That fucking sucks, dude. It's funny that the Fal uh, Falcon got folded by both Bug Heroes, Ant-Man, and Superman. Bro. Falcon is so fucking overrated, dude. <laughs> if only King Hraithmar was still alive... We wouldn't be stuck down here. If Andrew, oh wait, if Andrew and Toby is in Spider-Man 4, I'm not watching it. I want Tom Spider-Man's story to continue. I feel, I want, I want a proper, I want a proper ending to Toby Spider-Man just because, like, I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Tobey Maguire didn't get the proper send-off that he that he deserved, but that's just me. That's that's my childhood Spider-Man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just it's I don't know. Like, I literally saw like every single movie like in the fucking theaters. Oh, he just pulled so bad, I wouldn't feed it to my swine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll let you not eat it then. I meant to make an honest living cooped up in here all day. Why are you here? Did you end her? She escaped. Come, I've been cooped up long enough. I don't know what happened. I was beating her ass. Like, she just fucking ran away like a bitch. <sighs> of all the faces I left behind in Asgard... Yours is the last I expected to see. You sound disappointed. I'd have preferred you sent a buxom Valkyrie, wearing nothing more than a mischievous smile. And carrying a barrel of the good stuff. Now you're talking, but when I saw you in the palace, through Glod's portal, well, I knew you'd come for me. Thank you. Anything for a friend. My gentle jailer rescuing me from a far worse jail. It's almost poetic. You dwarves never did understand poetry. The sky is high, wood is good, and Harvey is still an arsehole. How is that for poetry, you miserable shit? About as good as you smell. Now, I have a use for you. 
Harvey has a use for me. Words to chill the blood. Still, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. Do you breathe fresh air? Or the stench of Glad's torturous? Keep your eye in its socket. What will you have me do? Wait. What? Vermin. Oh shit. Thief. Face me. Uh oh. Be warned. I will finish what you start. Hey, motherfucker, you do realize there's grass right here? Ah, oh, fuck it, he probably knows. Well, this, is, this is one of them expensive cutscenes. <laughs> this is one of them expensive cutscenes, dude. Oh my god, what is... What the fuck is this shit? Oh, hell no! Oh boy, I'm already out of stamina. Fuck. Oh, I can't get a fucking hit off, dude. There we go, there we go, there we go! Yeah, obviously. I don't... Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. the fuck up, dude. <laughs> of course, a pussy on fire. Bro, <laughs> I didn't expect to see that in the chat. <laughs> I'm actually mad as fuck that I didn't come up with that myself. Uh, TV series like Loki, I would have liked to see a villain series, but it has villains like Ronin, the Four Children of Thanos, Ultron, etc. And even Galacticus. Uh, I wish we would have uh, could have seen more of Loki's Frost Giant form. Yeah, I heard, I heard the, uh, I heard the Loki series was actually really, really good. Oh, shit. You should have played away. The age of Loki begins with your death. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. The age of Loki begins with your death. you had let me get a few kicks in. Bastard almost ate me once. Then it is over? The Muspas will be in disarray. Not while Surtur is in power. Tell me more of the relics and what you did with them. What happened in the vault? What do you think? Glod tortured me, commanded me to revive the relics, then extract their magic so that Surtur might use it in some way. And you could not? How fucking dare you? Of course I could, but not for a shit like him. Of course, Glod was too dim to see that I was dispelling the magic rather than storing it. And as soon as I knew you were coming, I gutted the relics, rendered them useless. So no mighty weapon for that prick Surtur. It is unwise to underestimate such an enemy. But you were short-sighted, Ivaldi. I could have made good use of that magic. Well... If it's items of power you seek. During my imprisonment, I heard rumors. Surtur is building something. Something small yet very, very potent. And highly valuable to him. So valuable that if it were to fall into your hands, you might do some real damage here, I think. That is intriguing. I will seek out wisdom on the subject. More ancient and advanced than even my own. But first, I must equip myself with some decent tools. Starting with a hammer and maybe a chisel or two. There is a dam in the north of Vangrin. Huge bloody thing. Almost completely frozen over. I... I know of it. South of the dam, there is a workshop. 
Perhaps it remains in good order. When your travels are complete, you will find me there. I will come when I'm ready. Okay, so now we should have one more. Uh... Oh, me with a baldy. Oh, God. Um. Wasn't there one more? Is it over here? Oh, okay. Okay. So we could probably just go. We could probably just go over here. Meet with Evaldi first and then go to the, uh, go to the sec or go to the last shelter. Yeah, because there's a couple, there's a couple of fucking, there's a couple of raid spots that we can go to as well, so. I am in. Honest to God, I wonder, I wonder if we do this. And then we do that. I wonder, uh. What if we will just go like the small way around? That would be fine. Out of the four Avengers movies, which one would you remove from the MCU? I'd remove Age of Ultron. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say I'd probably say Age of Ultron, just because like that's the that's like the only that's the only. Uh, that's the only Avengers movie that I never saw, like, more than once. And plus, like, I actually went to the, I actually remember this. I went to the theater and actually watch it. And my, my buddy, my, me and my buddy actually went together. And I was home. I was, like, actually, like, coming back, uh, to the West Coast. Like, from, um, I, I was, like, visiting, I was, like, visiting my parents and stuff from, uh, like, like, while I was in the Navy. And, uh... Me and my buddy from back home, we fucking decided to go to this, this fucking movie that started at like 10.30. And we paid tickets. We paid tickets and we went to go see this fucking movie. And then like, I'd say like 20 minutes in. 20 minutes fucking in, he literally looks at me square in the face like, bro, I have to go. I'm falling asleep right now. So he leaves my ass in this fucking theater. And I swear to God, bro. I was the only one in the theater, and I fell asleep the last 45 minutes of the movie. <laughs> I literally fell asleep the last 45 fucking minutes of the movie. Woke up, like, the last, like, five minutes, and, like, bro, like, I will never go see a fucking movie that fucking late again. That was terrible. I felt like I wasted my fucking money, dude. That shit was, that shit was terrible. That shit was fucking awful like like honest to god if you ask me like what age of ultron like what it like what uh like what happened in that movie i couldn't fucking tell you couldn't fucking tell you because i only watched it that one time maybe saw it like uh like on cable with commercials and i saw like pieces and parts of it other than that i i didn't i didn't like, I, I don't fucking remember a lick of, like, what happens in that movie, dude. I don't remember a goddamn thing. What game you running? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know that. I know that fucking slang. I guess you could call it slang. Yeah, that shit was terrible. I, like, I, I felt so bad. Like, I woke up. I fucking woke up. Because it's like five minutes left in the movie. And then one of the employees were literally waiting for, like, the movie to end so he could fucking clean. I felt like, I felt like he, like, like this what? dude literally fucking came in. What did I do to you? Huh? Hey, get back. back. No, no, I'm good. I felt like a dude, I felt like this guy literally was watching me fucking sleep. He's like, man, this fucking dude, dude. Jesus Christ. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Granted, I think my friend, I think my friend was working at the time and he was getting up at like four in the morning. 
So he was up since 4 in the morning that morning. And, like, it was, like, 10 o'clock. So I totally understand. I totally understand, like, why he didn't want to stay for the whole thing. But, bro, 20 fucking minutes into the movie, and then he leaves my ass at the theater. I'm just so glad that, like, where the theater was, I was able to walk home afterwards. Because I would have been, like, fucking pissed if, like, I had to, like... Uh, I had to, like, t text my parents and be like, Hey, like, you know, you know, at fucking 1 in the morning. Or, like, like the movie was at 10.30, so probably, like, what? Like, 12.30? Yeah, like, 12.30, 1 o'clock. Um, yeah, and just, like, hey, you know, I don't have a fucking ride home. I'm, I'm glad that, like, I'm glad that I actually, you know, I, I can actually, like, walk from my fucking house. It's only part 40, though. You should be done before part 50. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I, I really, I really doubt that, uh... Ooh, he fucking interrupted my shit. What a dick. Idea. It's a stupid idea, but it's an idea. Never mind. <laughs> Choke his ass out! Choke his ass out! Do it! Do it! Do it! But let him go though, cause we kinda we kinda or he's on our side now. Somehow, some way. When I was little, I went to see Star Wars Episode 3, which was almost three hours. I had to pee. I was in so much pain, but I couldn't miss Obi-Wan versus Anakin. That fucking movie is almost three hours? Really? Because I remember seeing that shit at the theaters, too. I definitely remember seeing... I definitely remember seeing, like, that shit in the theaters. I don't remember it being three hours, though. God damn. I watched Godzilla, uh... And Kong, and I gotta say, in my opinion, it's not as good as Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I think it's fucking wild. I think it's wild that, like, we have, like, a whole-ass universe now where it's, like, fucking Godzilla and King Kong up against the fucking world and shit. That's fucking... That's just fucking wild to me, dude. That's just wild as fuck. Dude, look at my fucking lieutenant, dude. He's so fucking badass. He's got the spear of Leon Leonidas in one hand. And then he's got the, uh, uh, he's got that fucking, he's got that one long sword where it fucking literally, uh, give me a hand with this. He's got that glowing ass sword. I don't remember which one it is, but. Did he, is his fucking, is that spear glitching out or is that just me? I saw Star Wars 3 and Spider-Man 3 with Toby in the same day? Are you telling me, are you telling me that, that those two movies were in the theater at the same time? God, I feel old. <laughs> I feel Come, so fucking old, bro. Jesus Christ. I, God, man. That's fucking nuts. That's insane. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're fucking using my own tactics against me, you fucker. That's not cool. Although, 
Although, man, it was fucking, it was funny as fuck that you, that you, uh, that you timestamped that, uh, that part of Unity where that motherfucker was T-posing. Bro, I am so fucking surprised that I didn't make a fucking comment on it. But I almost want to think that, like, I was so done with the game at that point that I just didn't, I just didn't fucking, I just didn't notice. You know what I mean? I'm just so fucking surprised that I never said anything about the guy T-posing. Like, I was thinking, like, oh, shit, like, I wonder what I say, like, when I see this guy. Nothing. <laughs> I fucking don't say a goddamn thing. That's fucking wild. That's so wild. Shit, so fucking dude. Wait, who the fuck is hurt back here? Oh wait. Hey, <laughs> help me out over here. What the fuck? Why are you trying to open a door that we are out to a building we already? Yeah, oh god, that motherfucker was chill chilling in the depot, bro. I was fucking laughing my ass off, dude. Like, you timestamped it perfectly enough where the motherfucker was right there, and I'm like, dude, that's fantastic. <laughs> just fucking, just fucking t posing like a motherfucker, dude. Like a fucking, like, chilling like a goddamn villain, bro. Jesus. I don't know, dude. I, I, I feel so bad because, like, Unity, Unity is literally, like, some people's, like, favorite AC game. I just, oh man, like, and I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one, like, I'm glad that, I honestly think that the people say that are the ones that put the mods in to, one, eliminate the, uh, to eliminate, uh, all the bugs, and also, um, to make the parkour, like, a little bit better. Like, I honestly, I honestly think that, like, I honestly think that's actually like, a thing. I don't know why these guys are glowing. Is there another one? Is there another silica, whatever the fuck's? Oh boy. Yeah, my dad wanted to see it. I was like six or seven. I remember that vividly. Those are good memories I have of my dad. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I, yeah, because I saw most of the movies that I saw, like when I was a kid, I fucking went with my dad, so. Yeah, because my, yeah, because I know, I know me and my dad, we went to go see, I know for sure, I, I think like the, Spider-Man 1 I saw in the theaters once. Uh, Spider-Man 2 I saw multiple times in theaters. I remember that because I remember I remember the like the second time I watched the movie the the uh the part the part where like Doc Ock is like fucking around with that machine. That fucking movie is loud as shit in the theater. I didn't like that shit cuz there was just it was so fucking loud. And then like that fucking scene where Doc Ock is in the fucking uh in the operating room with all the fucking doctors and the nurses and shit and the fucking uh and the uh uh the tentacles start going all fucking sporadic and that one fucking bitch that fucking gets dragged into the fucking dark room and her fucking nails fucking scratch the fucking floor making that high-pitched ass noise that fucking shit in the theater it get I, I don't I want to say it gave me a headache, but I'm pretty sure I was too young and I was too young to get headaches at that time, like due to noise, bro. Spider-Man Two with Toby was that that bro that fucking movie was way too loud to be in theaters, bro. It was way too fucking loud. Like there like I remember I remember the second time I went to go see that movie, half the movie I'm like this, literally like plugged ears and everything during the loud one. Cause I, cause I fucking, cause I, I learned my lesson. Holy shit! Still a good movie. It's actually, I think, I think that movie is actually my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite Toby Spider-Man movie. To be quite honest, that movie was like very well done. Oh. 
Give me a hand! It's worth taking. Can uh can someone help me? Burna? Okay, guess not. was ear rape bro especially bro especially the fucking woman especially the woman with the fucking with the nails her fucking screaming was even worse like yeah oh, dude like i get it it's supposed to be this fucking I, I, like it's supposed to be this like i get it dude it's supposed to be this like horrific thing all the doctors are dead all that shit you couldn't have turned that motherfucker down just a little tiny bit. Like, I'm pretty sure that movie is about, is like, 2%, is like literally 2% why my fucking hearing is it is the way it is. Like, it's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Especially seeing that movie twice in the fucking theater. God damn. I got jump scared in the theaters from Doc Ock hitting Harry, and then in Spider-Man 3, Venom jump scared me when he grabbed Peter by the head at the end of the fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, dude, that was fucking... That was fucking wild. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like, uh... I feel like, uh... Spider-Man 3 kind of took, like, a little more, like... Horror aspect? Like, a tiny bit? Because I kind of remember... I kind of remember there being, like, a lot of... Uh... I kind of remember there being a lot... Like, a, a, a few jump scares in that movie. It's kind of wild. Harry Potter was even worse, dude. Like, oh, I want to say it's the... Is it the first one or the second one? Is it the second one or... Is it the first one or the second one where he goes in the library? Like, Harry Potter goes into the library with his fucking invisibility cloak. And he's trying to look something up in the library. And he literally fucking opens up this book. And the fucking book, like, surfaces a face and starts screaming at him. That fucking scared the ever-living shit out of me when I was a kid, bro. I was like, I was pissed. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this? Like, Jesus Christ. Dude, I wish Spider-Man 3 did well, because Sam, uh, Sam Raimi would have done Vulture in Spider-Man 4. Yeah, it... Uh... I wish, I wish that, like, I wish that movie studios, like, kind of, like, at least, at the very least, like, gave, like, a good ending for, like, the movies, because, like, as a, as a kid, I didn't fucking realize, I didn't, I didn't realize that, like, they just stopped the movies because Spider-Man 3 did bad and shit. I just thought, oh, like, that's it? Like, that's literally all they got for us? Like, that's fucking weird. But in reality, like, it's, you know, they just, they, they stopped, they stopped the movies because it was just not, it was just not, like, doing well enough. And, that, and that's, like, surprising as fuck, to be quite honest. Come on, my little minions, kill the fuckers, dude! Jesus! Oh, that's... that's... okay. <laughs> Help me out here! Plus, I thought Spy... like, the, especially how Spider-Man 3, like, fucking ended, dude. It ended on such a fucking cliffhanger, because, like, for years, like, you just didn't know if, like, MJ and Peter were fucking gonna get back together, because... You know, like, Bully, Bully McGuire, you know, fucking came about. 
We didn't know if they fucking got back together or not. And then finally, like, you, it's revealed. Oh, shit. It's revealed, like, um, during No Way Home that they actually did get back together. But it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, bro, like, that fucking sucks. Like, you know. Ooh, shit. That's fucking brutal. Let's go. Let's force this shit open. Hey, that is the first Harry Potter sorcerer of blocks and stone I've seen. If it called both. Yeah, bro, that fucking shit. That that screaming book literally scared the shit out of me in the theaters. I was like mad as shit when I was a kid. Plus, like I saw I saw like I love the Harry Potter movies. The only one I do not like is I think the fifth one. Where that fucking where that fucking one professor comes in and literally is like there's no more magic at Hogwarts. And then I'm, just, I'm literally sitting in the theater, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the by the fifth one, like, they literally, like, kind of ran out of ideas. Because, like, the plot of the fifth one does not make any fucking sense. It's literally just like, you know, like, oh, Voldemort's not fucking, Voldemort's not fucking back. Like, Harry Potter's just lying. Why the fuck would he lie about that, bro? Like, that's so dumb. I, I literally, like, I don't know. I hate, I hate the fifth one with a fucking passion, dude. I hate that shit. Like, why would he lie in that situation, bro? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm, t I'm just totally solid. I, I like the powers that I have right now. Okay, let's go to this rating spot, and then we'll... No, dude! Fuck off! Damn, our boat is like straight up fucking stuff. Oh, also, um, I recently signed up for a Crunchyroll account, and I've been watching Yu Yu Hakusho for the past probably two weeks. Um, if if any of y'all watch anime, give me some suggestions. Give me give me some suggestions because I literally have like no. There, that library is way too fucking big to be fucking like, you know, scrolling through and be like, oh, is this anime, is this anime good? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know. So let me know. Let me know if you guys, let me know like what animes you guys watch. If you guys even watch anime. I know some people aren't complete nerds like me. <laughs> Although I'm having such a good time with Yu Yu Hakusho though. Like, I never, I never fully watched it when I was a kid. I only watched, like, maybe the first episode. And when I realized, uh... When I realized that, um... Holy shit. When I realized that the dude dies within, like, the first ten seconds, I'm like, ah! No, I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm totally stupid, bro. <laughs> Oh, shit! I totally forgot about Inuyasha. I wonder if that's on Crunchyroll. I should... I could... I could look it up. Like, when I get off the stream. Or when we get done with this raid, I can look it up. Because I know for sure that once we, uh... my shit if it's not on crunch roll it's on netflix i am actually like really fucking i'm actually kind of upset that uh i'm upset that like Yu-Gi-Oh isn't like the dub isn't on fucking crunchy roll i heard that like there's a there's a i don't know like the dub isn't like available for like people in america type shit and i'm really kind of disappointed because i don't really want to watch like sub like i know some people like it but i like i don't know like 
Oh, uh, like, it, like, I know for, like, sub, I would have to, like, really pay attention. Because, you know, obviously I don't speak Japanese, and, like, that would, you know... I, would, I Like, I would have to, like, you know, really fucking pay attention. But I don't know, dude. It's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, how fucking... How complicated could it be? Like, I know, like, I have fucking suspicions that fucking Yugi was fucking cheating his ass off. Like, oh, heart of the cards. No, motherfucker, you literally cheat. Like, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, how the fuck do you pull the perfect card every time, dude? Because I literally, I literally watched, like, uh, I watched all the episodes that they had for Yu-Gi-Oh! on Netflix, and it's only, like, I think it's only, like, 40 fucking episodes. But, like, for the whole, the whole fucking, uh, for the whole show, it's, like, 200 episodes. Which is fucking wild. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ooh, I almost died! Ooh, I almost died like a motherfucker. God damn, that was close. You see how, how fast my fucking health was going down? Jesus Christ, dude. That was scary. I almost died, bro. Shit. I gotta fucking focus up. Come, help me with this. Hold on, let me look up. No, because I'm, I'm, uh, because I'm, like I said, I'm currently watching, uh, That's wild. It's not even on Crunchyroll. Huh. But you said, you said it's on, uh... You said, you said that shit is on fucking Netflix, so I'll definitely check it out. I have, I have Netflix, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I will watch, uh... Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, on the fucking, on the sub, on the sub side. I'm just interested, dude. Because, like, I never watched, I never watched the... I never, like watch the shows from start to finish because it was completely fucking impossible like when we were kids because like like uh kids tv or your kids or whatever it's called that like you you uh Yu-Gi-Oh was on they never went in order and like well Toonami never went in order I remember that Toonami never fucking went in order but like when you tried uh you would have to like get up like early as fuck for uh for kids, or whatever the fuck it's called, for Yu-Gi-Oh, you would have to, like, literally be there, like, every fucking episode, and it's not like, you know, it's not like nowadays, where it's like, oh yeah, like, you can just watch it on demand. Nah, but, nah, bitch, we didn't have on demand, like, what are you talking about? We didn't have on demand. God damn it. It would just be interesting, it would be interesting to fucking, like, watch it from, like, start to finish. Oh my god! Dude! Who fucking knocked his ass off? Bro, he landed on his fucking neck and everything, dude. Jesus. Who fucking knocked his ass off? That was so fucking funny. I feel like this raid is going on forever. Stop. Give me a hand with this. This DLC go crazy? Yeah, no shit, dude. I will admit, I am, I am, an, I am enjoying it a lot more this time around, and I can actually, I can actually like follow the story a lot, a lot better than what I did before. Like, I, like, I enjoy, I enjoy this fucking DLC so far. It's not, uh, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Yu-Gi-Oh! is on Netflix. Yeah, I, uh, I watched it on Netflix. The only bad news is that there's only, like, there's only, like, 40 episodes. And when I looked on Crunchyroll, it's, like, 200, like, over 200 episodes or some shit. So, um, like, I gotta, like, I, I, I probably, I probably just have to, like, uh, oh, don't roll in the soul. No, 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 no. 
I probably just gotta like watch it on the, uh, like with the fucking subtitles, dude. And that's and that's fine. Like, like you know, I don't, I don't, I, I I'm just like a little intimidated by it because I. Oh my god, I'm just a little intimidated by it because I never I never watched the anime with uh, with sub before or like subtitles. So like I'm a little intimidated by it, but like I'm sure it's fine. I I'm sure it's fucking fine. Like I I heard. I just know that I just know that fucking show makes me laugh because literally like Yugi, Yugi literally pulls out the perfect card. You he could he could literally be like one step away from losing, and then like somehow some way that motherfucker the pulls the perfect card every single time to fucking win. And <laughs> that fucking makes me laugh. It makes me laugh because it's it literally happens in every fucking duel, hey, dude. Every single one. It's like ah oh, shit. Yugi pulled the fucking perfect card against me. Like, how, like, how, like, that doesn't, that shouldn't happen very often, I wouldn't think. And I think he's only lost, like, maybe, uh, like, out of, out of the, out of the few times, like, I've watched it. I've only seen him lo lose, like, fucking once. And that was when, uh, and that was when fucking, like, Kaiba was, like, threatening to kill himself, and, uh, and he was totally gaslighting Yugi. <laughs> And fucking Yugi was just like, all right, all right, you win, fuck. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I think it's just, I think it would just have to take me a couple episodes to really, uh, I think it would just have, I think it would just take me a couple episodes to really get used to the fucking, the Japanese fucking, uh, voices and shit. But, I'm not totally against it, though. Definitely not. running over that dead body, dude. God, damn. you. Alrighty, Baldi, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, because I definitely, I definitely need to, uh, I definitely need to watch Dragon Ball Super because I've never, I've only watched it through, like, uh, I've only watched it through clips. I've only watched, like, clips of it. So I know what happens, for the most part. I just never watched, like, the full thing, you know? i seen this video where this guy made a video, and it's called How the Avengers Destroyed New York and Avengers 1. But imagine if the Avengers wasn't there. He, they did they did destroy that bitch, though. <laughs> like, dude. God, man. Fucking. They did destroy New York. But I, I get you, though. I totally get, I totally get why you say, uh... I totally get why you say, um, like, like, imagine if they weren't there. I mean, there might be, there might be an argument that says, like, you know, if the Avengers weren't there, then Loki wouldn't fucking destroy the whole fucking city. But you never know, though. This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if he's already here. Damn. <laughs> well, time for more Fight Club and Syndicate. I literally do Fight Club until I'm level 10, then play the story. Mac, what the fuck? God. You don't have to play. You don't have to play the fucking Fight Club to get to level 10, bro. I honestly, God, that makes the fucking game like so much easier when you actually are like over leveled. Uh, great stream, man. Never got into Valhalla, but I loved Odyssey. Same figures. I'm very, very glad that you, uh, that you found the stream and you're enjoying, dude. I, me personally, I don't, like, I have problems with Odyssey just because, like, it's one of those games, it's one of those games where it's a great game overall, but it's a bad, it's a bad Assassin's Creed game just because, like, there's no Hidden Blade. Uh, you can't do you can't do proper assassinations even though you have a demigod spear but I love I love Cassandra as a character though I, I definitely do oh, utterly useless 
Are you talking about me, Molly? What the fuck? DBZ, you see Monday Night Raw, Mommy's intern, she had to vacate the title. I did, I did see that. I didn't, like, I didn't watch it. I didn't, I didn't watch it, but I definitely saw, like, clips on, uh, on social media. But, um, that, that sucks, dude. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad that she got, like, her WrestleMania moment. And that she was able to compete. It just, it absolutely sucks that she got, uh, it sucks that she got fucking injured like i think it was like the raw after mania type thing and i don't even know i don't even know like what her injury is but i know for damn sure that fucking pop when she comes back it's gonna be it's gonna be epic as shit i guarantee you bro that shit like she is worthy of your talents she's definitely a really really great fucking wrestler soon you can put them to good use By Emir, is that a a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard. I never of... said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. The war with the Vanya had only just ended, and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the Elves' immortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords, one a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. Uh, Asa? Oh shit. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svalfelheim. Not wrong. Allow me to introduce Asa. Treasoner's daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy-eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful, though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this, this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is. I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broca. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. I always hate it when there's a cutscene going on. <laughs> there's a fucking cutscene going on. And, um... I hate it when there's a cutscene going on and literally, uh... Like, people are putting shit in chat and I literally cannot, like, uh... Like, respond, because I do not like talking during the cutscenes and shit. And I just... It, it gives me... It, like, kind of gives me anxiety. Not like you guys give me anxiety, but, it, like, the whole thing just gives me anxiety because, like, I feel like people think that I'm like ignoring them but I'm not I'm just literally letting the cutscene go 
I wonder, because the Salakar has got to be a piece of Eden, right? It has to be. Like, there's just no way... There's no way that they put this in the fucking DLC for it to be... Dock the ship here. Like, it, it has to be... It has to be a piece Gordon of Eden. Now, the skin. next question is... Is that... Is the Salakar the reason why... Odin, Loki, Tyr, and all of them, like, got reincarnated? Like, during Ragnarok? Is that... Like, I gotta... I gotta rewatch the, uh... I gotta rewatch the video where they all get, like... They all go into the room, into the machine. Look around, find any signs leading to the shelter. Um... I... Because... It does sound like Odin wants to use it for that reason. And... I don't know. That's just that's just interesting to me. Cause the sound card's gotta be a piece of Eden. It has to be. Like there's just no way I just did I just find the fucking entrance to this? No I didn't. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, this is the backside. No, it's not. No, this is not it's not the backside. Just kidding. I was about to say, if I found that shit within like three seconds, they literally have to uh they have to like they have to like re fucking hide their shit. <laughs> Wolves get all the way up here. Uh, do we gotta go this way? But, uh, let me catch up on chat right quick. Um, Mommy's always on top and not on me, bro. For real. But seriously, she had it for a year, and for it to end like that, I almost took Raw off. Yeah, for real. She was such a good champion. Like, it, it's, it's such a shame that, like, a, a good title reign has to end like that. You know what I mean? The new world to, uh, the new world... Tag titles are pretty lit, though. I can't wait to see the SmackDown new tag titles. The only, the only, uh, the only complaint that I have is that the fucking, all, every single title on Raw looks like the motherfucking world title. The one that fucking Seth Rollins fucking held slash now Damian Priest holds. The Raw Women's Championship looks exactly that. And then the fucking, the, the tag team titles look a like it's a little different but it's it's this almost this it's like too similar it makes me think it just it kind of irks me a little bit because if they come out with the smackdown tag titles and it looks like the wwe championship that fucking uh that that like cody rhodes holds and uh fucking uh bailey holds I'm gonna I'm gonna complain a little bit because like I don't know like they're just now I feel like they're making all the titles like kind of look the same and that's kind of whack to me but like I mean shit it looks the tag titles look a lot better than what they did originally though because uh, me personally I didn't really I didn't really like the look of the tag titles for like the last like couple years to be quite honest. Like, I didn't like the bronze-looking ones, and then I didn't like the silver-looking ones, either. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, good, bro. I know I ain't tripping. You answer when you can. I appreciate that, dude. Some people, some people actually do like trip about it. They're like, like blank and like, oh, like they they used to fucking trip like all the time, like all the time. Whenever I like miss some of their fucking comments, I'm like, bro, like you know, I'm doing the best I can, man. When they uncovered it, I said, "You? Uh, I mean, it, they don't look terrible. Like the only complaint that I have is that they look." Very similar to the World Heavyweight Championship. That's like my only complaint. But I'm I'm glad that they got like new titles and shit. Like that's that's pretty that's pretty lit. I just I don't I don't like how I don't like the fact that all the titles in WWE look the fucking same. Like that that like even the Intercontinental title looks kind of similar to like the big gold belt. You know what I mean? I mean maybe not. No, no, the Intercontinental title Nothing and the U.S. Good. title have, like, a sit- Like, they have, like, different lo looks to it. I do take kindly to being interrupted. Oh, okay, bitch. <sighs> Shit, fuck it. Charming. Yeah, charming indeed. Fuck him, Hobby. Just kill him. <laughs> a word, my friend. Evil D requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Augur. He's the master of this workshop? 
Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the Masters ain't here. Strange. 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 the U.S. And, and IC titles. I was actually really surprised that fucking Gunther actually lost to Sami Zayn. I literally thought, I literally thought that, like, Gunther's reign were, was gonna, like, was gonna be a lot longer than, like, what it was. But, like, that's still a pop, though. Like, I'm actually really surprised that, like, WWE actually had, like, six title changes in at WrestleMania. That shit was what wild. That shit was wild as hell. Evaldi sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokkir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivali. He's at the old workshop ruins. So many starving dwarves produce so much shit. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's meditate till the night time. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Apparently people get pissed when you fucking... Dude, well, granted, like, there's no toilets here. That's fucked up. Me with Brocker at night. Brocker should have returned by now. Oh no. Where's he at though? Wait, is it nighttime or is it not? Of all our enemies, Sinmara is the most vicious. I remember when she and Sutur were bitter rivals. She led the coup against him, almost claimed his crown, and then announced their marriage. I know not what deal was struck, but we must remain forever alert to her plots. Odin, speaking to an adolescent Balder. Also, also, playing the God of War games has definitely helped me with, like, figuring out, like, what the fuck they're talking about in this whole fucking Asgard arc. Plus this DLC, just say it. It helps a little bit. Three on the hand, then the neck, all in on the eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunga's special mead? What's that frosty ass guy do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim, in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, 
Well, it can, uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ewaldi with the job and he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. <laughs> Dude, he's such a dick, man. <laughs> that Godfly? It was oh. low. Thor himself could not have withstood this thing. Fine, and rescue Sindri. Remind me. Why do I find myself? I didn't even think Sindri and Brock were at, uh... It was actually like a real thing. Like, I thought that was just characters from fucking God of War, but, uh, I mean, that's how fucking ignorant I am. <laughs> so, you know. What do you see, Sudan? Oh, boy. A long bath ahead. That's what I see. Oh, excuse me. I must hand it to Sindri. Even after all that has happened, he still has the defiance to seek out a horn of Svartalfein's finest. I'm so OP on Syndicate. Dude, that's... I, I'm so happy for you for that. Oh, shit. You deserve it for fucking playing fucking Unity for so long. I feel so bad, man. Like, Unity should not get the... Should not get the hate that it gets, but fuck me, dude. It's just... God, the game is so bad. Like, I, I think it's... I think it's worse than what people fucking remember, dude. I, like, and it's... It's so... It's so fucking... It's so... It's such a tragedy. It is. It's such a tr Where the fuck? Bro. God damn, I didn't think... What the fuck? Hold the fuck up, man. Nah, fuck that shit. Let's just fucking go over here. God, man. Fuck that. Oh my god. I don't want to fucking climb like 30 goddamn feet? 50 feet? 100 feet? I don't know. Fucking... I think, honestly, I think Syndicate, I think Syndicate gets, like, way more hate than it should. Syndicate, like, overall is, like, just a really, really good game. Like, where, like, hold on a second. Let me see where I have it in my, uh, in my rankings list. I'm pretty sure I have it, like, really, really high. Yeah, I have Syndicate, I have Syndicate third. I have Syndicate third behind Brotherhood and Origins. Which seems to be a little high. Which seems to be a little high because it's over Black Flag and like, should Syndicate be over Black Flag? I don't know. I don't know about that, but I mean, I don't know, man. Syndicate is fun. Syndicate is really, really fun. And plus, like the, I just love, I just, I love the game overall, and I just love like the world that it's in. Like, that's, that's what I like, too. I, I actually like, like, where the world, or like, where it's at. Like, world-wise. Okay, let's fucking try to be, like, semi... Let's try to be, like, semi-fucking stealthy here. The only complaint that I have, the only real complaint that I have about Syndicate is that, uh, they wrote off, they wrote off Eevee, like, really, really quick. Which I didn't, I didn't like, like, at all. Really, Sindri? All this trouble for a few gulps of mead? Get your stupid ass over here. Dummy. Come on! Kick the nest there.
What's wild is that Syndicate, uh... Syndicate literally is like the first game, the, the first AC game with the uh, RPG mechanics that people don't even talk about. Like, that's... I think that's a little more wild than, like... Because everybody always says, it's like, oh yeah, it's fucking, uh... You know, it's fucking Origins that started the RPG bullshit. Uh, no. <laughs> it was actually... It was actually fucking... Uh, syndicate that actually started that shit. Well, actually, no, technically... I mean, technically, technically it was Unity. Technically. Like, oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're caught. Wait, what? Oh, hi. Well, that didn't really work, did it? That one guy that saw me, that was actually really, really good. Let's get in some grass and so we can actually like kinda hide from these guys. Ooh shit, I'm glad I fucking what came over here. Damn. Mac, uh, quick question for you. Who who is your uh, who's like your favorite wrestler right now? And it don't even it don't even got to be from WWE. Like I don't even I don't even watch WWE. The only reason why I don't is because I can't I can't watch because I. I prefer I prefer to watch AEW just because uh, just because like that is the company that I started like because I was out of I was out of professional wrestling for a long time but I didn't watch it for a long time but then um, but then like I think it was when CM Punk came back to AEW well wrestling in general I was just like oh hmm. Maybe I should start watching this shit. Cause I was thinking about it. I was thinking about watching AEW for a long time. And I was like, ah, let me give, let me give it let me give it like a little shout. Let me give it like a like a watch. And I fucking loved it. I watched like I watch it like every week. The only bad part the only bad part is that like I wanna watch WWE, but like I did the math. And if I watch if I watch like both WWE and fucking AEW, that's like, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I would literally watch like 12 hours of fucking wrestling per week. Per fucking week. That's insanity. <laughs> it's so... That's insanity, dude. Stretch your wings, Sunan. I just don't think I have the time of day to even like... E even if I like... The smell of meat grow strong. Even if I... Li even, if I even if I watched it, because I have YouTube TV. I've guided him here. I have YouTube TV, so I have like... Uh, I have like AEW like recording and shit, and then I have I have WWE too. Like whenever I want to watch it, and I want to watch both. But, but God, man, like twelve hours of wrestling a week would be like fucking insanity. It'd be like insane to watch like both. I would I love I would love to watch both though. I really would. Oh God damn it! There's a fucking locked door. Of course there is. Who's got the key? No, oh, the key's over here. Seth Rollins? Ah, yes, yes. How did you, uh, how did you feel about him losing the title at WrestleMania? I thought, honest to God, I thought they did Drew McIntyre dirty as fuck, dude. I, man, I, Jesus Christ, dude. I thought they did Drew McIntyre dirty as fuck. 
Like, man, I was actually like a little bit, I was like a tiny bit pissed. Oh, I did not. I, I waited way too long. Shit. AEW, my favorite is Darby Allen. That motherfucker's a beast. That guy is fucking insane, bro. I am so surprised that, like, all it took for him was to... I can't even remember what the fuck he did. I don't know. I don't remember what... I don't remember what he injured. I don't remember what he injured at all. It was something stupid, like, in a fucking... In a, in a, in a regular match against Jay White. But it was, like... Out of all the crazy-ass shit he does... Like, that's the thing that fucking injures him? That's fucking insane. That guy is a fucking daredevil and a half, bro. Like... Bro, if Seth wasn't fucking injured, he'd still be champ, but Damian Priest probably was gonna cash in, regardless who won. Yeah, probably. He, like, Damian Priest had that fucking money in the bank shit for, like, a long time, right? Thank you. Much obliged. Like, I remember, they actually fucking named it, like, Senor, like, it was, like, Senor Money in the Bank because of how long he had it. I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. This is so fucking funny. Sindri! Since that Sindri has been here, surely there is some sign of Sindri here. Shane was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here a bag of roasted acorns. I think I think my professional, my favorite professional wrestler, like out of uh, out. one trail leads in, the other out. Out of like both AEW and WWE, it, it's got to be Will Ospreay, dude. Will Ospreay is fucking. Will Ospreay is fucking insane, man. Every single match I see of him. It could be like a pay-per-view. It could be like a regular show. He puts on a fucking hell of a match every single time, dude. And I respect him for it. And he's he's pretty young too. He's like only like I think like twenty six years old or some shit. Prison not far from here. Jan's hoops, they call it. Like I love the fact that AEW has done that pay-per-view with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Forbidden Door. Because it's literally, it's literally fucking introduced me to, like, so many more, uh, wrestlers that I would have never known of if it wasn't for, for that pay-per-view. Like, uh, the first time I ever saw Will Ospreay fucking wrestle, he was match of the night. Like, and I was so fucking surprised. I was, like, baffled at how fucking good he was. Like, I was just like, bro, like, this guy's a fucking star. And then when I heard that, like, he was going to become a free agent, I'm like, please, for the love of God, do not let him go to WWE, dude. <laughs> just because, like, bro, like, I don't know. Like, I just have a bias towards, like, AEW because that's what I watch. And I, dude, if, if Will Ospreay went to fucking WWE, I would have watched every week. I would make the time. I would literally make the time to fucking watch that shit because it's just, like, crazy as fuck. Crazy as fuck. I was in tears because I knew he was leaving. Uh, I love Seth. I, wa uh, I watched him ever since he was the first to win the NXT Championship. Oh, shit. For real? That's a long time. I'm a Seth Rollins fan till the end, hands down. Now I love all of them. But Seth is a real fighting champion for WWE. You can't tell me otherwise. Now they got Cody, though, so I'm happy with the champs. Cody and Damian are going to kill it as champs. Drew's going to win the belt back when he when he's done with CM Punk. Yeah, I, I just hope I just hope that Cody Rhodes doesn't turn into that whole like uh, I hope I hope fucking Cody Rhodes doesn't turn and I don't think he will, but like I hope he doesn't turn into like the whole like fucking Roman Reigns like fucking only defending the title like you know fucking Is four or five times a year. Meat. Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. I tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the 
shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. <clears throat> but now, now that I've, uh, now that I've actually... Now that I've actually, uh, I've actually read about, like, the shit that fucking Roman Reigns is going through, like, apparently he has to take, like, he has to take, like, medicine because of, uh, it's like some sort of, like, chemo shit because, like, his fucking, his fucking, uh, his cancer will come back if he doesn't. That's pretty scary, dude. Honestly, that's, like, that's scary as fuck. And, I, and that, and just reading that, it makes sense why he doesn't wrestle as much as he does anymore. Because could you imagine, could you imagine if you tried to wrestle, like, as much as fucking Seth Rollins does? And this is not, this is not to, like, shit on Seth Rollins. I'm just trying to make a point. Could you imagine, like, wrestling as much as, like, a Seth Rollins or, like, anybody, and you're going through chemotherapy at the same time? That's, that's fucking insane. I actually have, like... I actually have, like, major fucking respect for him now. Like, I, I had no clue that, like, he was actually taking, like, medication for, like, chemo. So his fucking, so his cancer doesn't even, doesn't come back. Like, that's, that's fucking, that's fucking insane to me. To be quite honest. Like, that's just... Cancer fucking sucks, dude. Like, it's just, it's, it's a fucking shame. It's such a shame. Oh, we have to... We have to find that fucking... Yeah, we have to, we have to find that fucking... Little spear. <laughs> I don't think Kobe, Cody will be that kind of champ Roman Wayne's what? Uh, I don't think Cody will be that kind of champ. Roman was actually still sick, so he couldn't fight full-time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually read my mind, because that's exactly what I was talking about, too. I don't know. I don't know if your comment came through, like, by the time I talked about it. So, my bad. <laughs> my bad. It's not like I was stealing your fucking, uh, stealing your shit. No, I, 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 I had no clue. I mean, I know he had to take some time off, because his leukemia actually came back for that little bit. I, I'm just, like, I'm surprised that, like... I'm surprised, he, like, and, and I think that, I think that, like, people on the internet need to do some research before they start shitting on the fucking wrestler. <sighs> because I didn't even know that, and I was, like, a big Roman Reigns hater just because, like, I don't know, dude, it was cool to fucking hate on Roman Reigns, whatever. I just didn't know he was going through that, and I feel, I feel like a fucking, I feel like a, like a piece of shit for fucking saying all that shit about him. And, like... And he actually did, like, he has been going through shit. Like, that, that does, that does make me feel bad. Like, a little bit. It, it does, low-key. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... I think WWE let him carry the title for three years so he can be happy no matter what. I'm so uh, fucking proud of Roman Reigns for fighting as long as he did. I love Reigns, but these long title reigns are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I think I don't think we'll ever. I don't think we'll ever see a title reign that long for for a long time. I, I like. I, I doubt it. I, I doubt we'll see a fucking rain like that, like, ever in our lifetime. Like, I just don't... I don't know. Like, I... Like, I'm okay with, like, a... I'm okay with, like, a 100-day rain. 
a 200 day reign depending on like how the uh honestly depending on like how the ratings are as long as the ratings are going through fuck it just keep it going like don't just you know it could go up to a year who fucking cares but the fact that that motherfucking rain ended up being the fact that that rain ended up being over what 1300 days that's fucking insane bro that is insane like that is insanity that the fucking rain lasted that long like that's a long time i don't think people realize how long that is like that that's just that's just fucking insanity right there Okay, so where the fuck is this goddamn spear, man? Because, like, obviously we need to put a spear. Oh! There's gotta be something I'm missing, right? But no, like, I know, I know for sure, like, I, I think it was, like, the day after WrestleMania, too. They, he was in, like, some sort of, like, beach place. Like, it looked like Hawaii or the Bahamas. And, like, he, he, like, made a fucking Instagram post. And I'm like, bro, dude, you take that break and you fucking deserve it, bro. Even if, like, even if, like, he retires or some crazy shit, he deserves it, man. He's literally, he carried that company when it was at its pretty much at its lowest because of because when like when he became champ that's when like wwe was still doing like the whole like the no crowd thing the covid shit he kept that company i wouldn't want to say he kept that company alive but he kept that he kept it making money and that's what and that's what's most important like the whole fucking roman reigns thing the bloodline and all that shit like that that literally, like, made ratings good enough where, like, it could survive for, like, however long it was until, like, the crowds could come back. And that's, like, and that's pretty fucking cool, so. How do you get in there? Wait, no, we know how to get in there. Can we move this shit from side to side, or... <laughs> There's gotta be some way to fucking do this, right? Oh, I mean, there is. I mean, I literally... Let me go... There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something that I'm missing, man. There's gotta be. I, I'm literally... I gotta be... I gotta be fucking tripping somewhere. Imagine Reigns winning it back. Fuck. <laughs> well, I don't think... I don't think you're gonna see Roman Reigns again for a long time. I mean, like, it would be wild... It would be wild as fuck to me if he actually, like, came back after, like, two months. And then he was like, I want the fucking WWE Championship back, blah, blah, blah. Could you imagine? That would just be... That would be some cheeks, dude. <laughs> that would be some major cheeks. But I think, I think, like, after that long-ass reign, I think he deserves to have at least, like... I would be surprised if he took, like, a year off, to be quite honest with you. Like, it would not surprise me in the slightest. If we didn't see him for, like, a, for, like, a year. I 
I wonder... I have an idea. I, I think... I think I missed something upstairs. It's not, it's not where the fucking main mission is. <laughs> Here's the main mission. Oh, God. All right. How long was I down there? How long was I down there just fucking around? And it's, oh, God. Oh, God. Can I get out of here, please? I'm fucking freaking out. <laughs> oh, man. That, that sucks. That sucks. How long... How long was I fucking... Oh, man. That's... That's so fucking frustrating, dude. I feel like an idiot, man. My bad. My bad, guys. Literally fucking down there for no reason. The only reason why that's a thing is just to get the book of knowledge that's down there. And I wasn't really... I wasn't really trying to do that. I was just trying to progress through the fucking story. God damn it. Roman will definitely make SummerSlam at least, but maybe not. I think I think that there is more of a possibility of The Rock coming back for SummerSlam than um than Roman. Like I have a feeling I have a feeling that like because I think I like I think there was because I follow um I follow CBB on YouTube and I also listen to his podcast like on Spotify and shit. And he had a, he had a pretty, why is this, wait a god damn it, why is this place so fucking dark, oh, oh, oh shit, what did I get into, and why do I regret it? Okay, easy, easy, easy with the fire, man! Oh no, he's about to make it dark as shit again. Don't do it! Also, I will admit, the battle, the battle soundtrack for this DLC is like badass as fuck. I will admit that one, too. God damn, you hurt me, man. This place dark as fuck. It's still dark. This is a No. But no, I follow, uh, I follow CBV, Chris Van Fleet, on, uh, like, YouTube, but I also follow his, uh... I also follow, like, his interviews slash, like, his little podcast that he does on Spotify. And he says, he says that with the timeline of, like, The Rock's, like, next movie, it's probably gonna be The Rock versus, uh, Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam, which, shit, I'd be fucking, I'd be all in, to be quite honest. That'd be, that'd be some badass shit. I think that, like, I don't know, I think it's so, I think it was so, uh, great how, um, I think it was so great how, like, how fast WWE pivoted when they realized that the people who wanted Cody in the main event and not The Rock for this year's Mania. I know they didn't plan it, but the whole, like, The Rock turning heel and shit, that was fucking genius to me. I wish, honestly, that I made time to watch the build-up to fucking WrestleMania because, like, just watching it, it was the most no, fucking interesting build-up. Get it over with. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of any of you. 
Put me out of my misery, so I don't have to look at your ugly faces any longer. I don't. safe now, but maybe not for long. What are the chances? Saved by the High One! Thank you, truly. I only wish you'd got here sooner. Poor buggers deserved better. You ever find yourself in the Hotta Shelter, I would be keen to repay your kindness somehow. If my path leads me there, then very well. The giants you just killed answered to another. Mean bastard, I hear. Sounded like you can find them west of Gürmelstifla, should you be so inclined. That's not very specific, but I may take a look, see what can be found. Aye. I could not glean much more than that, sorry. Right then, back to the shelter for me. Good hunting, High One. Thank you. I know I did. I know I did a, uh... I know I just did a mystery, but I wasn't gonna leave that fucking dwarf fucking just like getting tortured by those guys. I can't. I just. I just couldn't do it, man. Oh, look at my ration. Just go away. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. I definitely think Cody will win unless Cody's not the champ by SummerSlam. I would think he would be because like what what uh oh, SummerSlam's what like in July. August or something like that he should be I mean like he should be the champ by then you would think I mean maybe not I just think uh, I, it's very very obvious that they're not gonna bring Roman back for a long time based off of like uh solo Sokoa kind of taking over the whole bloodline thing on Smackdown I saw like little clips of that and I was like oh no yeah, Roman's Roman's not gonna come back for like a while. But <laughs> he is not gonna be he's not gonna be back for a long time. And that's okay. Because I think that it's about time. I think it's about time that Solo actually got like a He actually got a role other than uh Roman Reigns' as fucking side piece. Not a side piece, but his fucking like his uh this place reeks of misery. More than I would even wish upon Loki. I think he deserves that better than was, to be like Roman's fucking like his right hand man. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm I'm so glad that they're actually having fucking Solo actually like do, um, actually like have his own like storyline type shit. Cause I just hate I hate when fucking like when wrestling companies like just waste like talent. And it's not like and I'm not saying that like they they were wasting like Solo's talent. I just think that he could be better than fucking Roman Reigns' is fucking, like, his fucking right-hand man type shit, where he literally comes in at the end of every single title match and, you know, saves Roman Reigns and all that bullshit. Like, you know, I think that, I think Solo could be a, so much better than, than that. And, you know, we'll, time will tell now, because he's getting, he's getting the fucking, he's getting the time now, so... We'll, we'll see. We'll see how that, uh... We'll see how that whole, uh, like... How that storyline goes. Where am I going? I don't even know. Soon in. Guide me. Uh... Oh, look. I'm, like, right next to it. That's good. I should have put an explosive on that fucker. God damn it. Over here! Help! Help! Really? 
Really? I was about to say, there's no fucking way that that guy saw me. No fucking way. Most of the dead have been roasted upon the flames. That body over there. I hope it's not who I think it is. I don't know, but I'm gonna let all these guys go because they, uh. Oh, thank you. Have fun. Thank don't be killed. Fans want a new bloodline versus OG bloodline. It would be Roman turning face and getting Sammy and the Usos versus Solo and whoever they have in the new bloodline. I actually like that idea. I do too. Honest to God, like the 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 minute the minute that like Solo like kind of was like doing stuff on his own and based off of like Paul Heyman's like shocked face, like he was actually like legit scared of Solo. I immediately, that's immediately what I thought was like, oh, Roman's about to turn fucking, Roman's actually about to turn, uh, about to turn face. Like, cause, dude, the pop, when he comes back, whenever that is, it's gonna be fucking insanity. Like, everybody already misses him. Like, already misses him, and WrestleMania was only like, what, like two fucking weeks ago? So, the pop of, like, when Roman comes back is gonna be absolute insanity. And I'm there, and I'm there for it. I just wish I could fucking have more time to fucking watch wrestling, man. Because, like, dude, like, I would love to watch WWE. I really would. It's just a lot, man. It's, just, like, it's a fuck ton of shit. I mean, maybe, maybe if I, like, watch, like, AEW Dynamite on Wednesday. And then, like, Raw, SmackDown, and all that shit. But like, here's the thing. Like, I would, I feel like I would miss out because ob obviously, um, obviously they they put in a ton of work. Oh shit! There's a. Obviously, they put in a ton of work on NXT, and NXT is actually a way better product than like when I was watching, like back in like 2014, and like I just see like clips from fucking. Um, I just see clips from NXT and I'm like, oh my god, dude. Like, some of the fucking, some of the fucking people, some of the people in fucking NXT are, like, very fucking impressive. And it would be awesome it, to watch, like, NXT and then by the time they go up to the main roster, you pretty much already know what you're getting. I feel like that would, I feel like that is, like... I feel like that would be, like, pretty badass. So I can't fucking skip out on NXT. So, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's... It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. Like, I wish I could watch both, but, like... I, did, I seriously just don't have the time of day. Especially when Raw is, like, is three hours long. Still, like, dude, I, I barely keep up with fucking AEW. For God's sakes. Like, I think, I like, before... Yesterday, I watched, like, a whole week worth weeks worth of fucking of, Who is this of AEW and like I think I'm no. still fucking behind. It can't be Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh Sidri No No my dear Sidri I'm sorry, was that a tear that I just saw? This isn't a Ubisoft a game. Arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I will speak with broker. Roman did say, y'all gonna miss me when I'm gone. I'm actually really impressed. I'm really impressed with Roman. 
because he built he built himself or he like uh he rebuilt himself as a character like i like before i went into the navy i knew him as like the big dog or whatever and people fucking hated that character for good reason because it was like a it was like a poor man's kind of john cena i get it i totally get like why people didn't like the fucking character so then he fucking goes he gets leukemia comes back he becomes the fucking tribal chief which is one of the greatest fucking wwe characters we've ever seen since the days of fucking stone cold and the rock and shit i mean super cena was a pretty good character too but like bro <laughs> dude i have never seen other than cody rhodes which i am very proud of him too for just reinventing himself as a fucking character because that motherfucker back in the day was oh what the fuck was he what he was he was literally gold dust fucking tag team partner but he like literally he literally was like painted like he painted his fucking face like gold dust but he came but he was he was a character that was the lowest that cody rhodes has ever been and the fact that he left wwe well he got fired technically and he literally fucking went reinvented himself and now he's the american nightmare is just it that is just the most badass thing i've ever seen because that fucking character of him with the gold fucking face paint and him hissing like a cat was one of the dumbest fucking characters I've ever seen in my entire life. Find a way to ease broken and soul. that is saying something because I'm WWE created Fondango, the stupid fucking wrestler who's also a, 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 a professional dancer. There's a reason why I stopped oh, watching WWE. You, <laughs> you lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that... ...of a mighty battle. Sindri, beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He, he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes, yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh, but then, one of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead, right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree, now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. No, oh, Sindri. How can I tell Broca we're missing the tools? What? It's not even... Okay. Harvey, please. Let me grieve in peace. Gotcha. Sindri, gotcha, you son of a rock. Where no, did you hide your tools? All alone. How will he manage without his big brother to guide him? I don't know, but y'all are really fucking speaking pretty fucking loud so he can fucking hear you, huh? Can I, I tell Broca we're missing the, the tools? tools? Okay. It's too horrible to even think about. Okay, so I'm speaking to the other guests and I don't... Where could they be? Oh, okay. There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. 
wouldn't be surprised if there's somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go find his tools. I'm very fond of the dwarves. Yet that constant meat is exhausting. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. Loki, friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your guilted conversation. Even the lies. It's honestly pretty it's honestly pretty wild, like how different of characters that Javi and fucking Avor are. Because Avor is like willing to help anybody and everybody and anybody and Javi literally helps people to for his personal game if i was sindri where would i hide my beloved tools somewhere high up perhaps you're kidding right oh god you're a uh, majestic oak surely this is sindri's beloved acorn tree Examine the tree? Hold on. Wait. What fucking tree? Oh, over here? the tree they're talking about i don't know oh, fuck because <laughs> i don't want to i just don't want to climb up these motherfucking things and it not being like the right like the right way you know like that would that would be a waste of fucking time Also, I think another reason why I, like, I ended up, like, not watching WWE anymore is because I literally, I was so sick and tired of, like, the fucking part-timers that would come in and would automatically get, like, fucking, like, world title opportunities when everybody else or all the normal people would literally be fucking wrestling, like, all year long and would work so hard just to get left off the fucking card. Be my eyes, Sunan. Oh, that fucking tree. Okay, I'm just stupid. Like, the whole... When fucking Brock Lesnar, like, kept coming back, like, during SummerSlam, and then, like, during fucking WrestleMania and all that shit, I was so fucking sick of him. Especially when, like, he w ended up winning the Universal title. And at that point, like, the Universal title was the only major championship in WWE. And, you know, you never saw Brock at all. You literally saw him, like, maybe two weeks before the pay-per-view. Brought it, you know, fucking built up a feud. Wrestled the pay-per-view. And then he was gone for fucking weeks. Again and again and again. And that shit... Looks like a you life. literally fucking gave your major championship a fucking... To a fucking part-timer. And he... Good. You know? You know what I mean? He's just stupid as fuck. <laughs> It was so fucking dumb, bro. That's why, like, I ended up, like... I. That's why, like... Once I, like, started... Once I started, like, following it on social media and I saw, like, how fucking, like... How fucking horse shit it was. Like, fucking seeing, like... Fucking Brock Lesnar, uh... Like, just only be there for... I wonder... I wonder if it wants me to do this. Oh. Too good of a shot, I guess. Oh, we have to do the giant raven bullshit. That sucks. I did actually... Okay, here we go. Yeah, I did end up, like, killing one of them. I just needed to actually remember...
that just sucks because that just sucks because I like the one I like the one where you actually get to uh So fucking janky. No, that's not it. I hate the Raven thing, dude. It makes it makes this shit just so much harder. Dude. Tools of Sindri's trade. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. <laughs> My dumbass was trying to burn the fucking. <laughs> My dumbass was trying to burn the fucking nest and shit, trying to get to that shit, dude. Oh man, fuck. Disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. Oh. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't the dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. You must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldr? Baldr lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Okay, that's fine. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. She goes, look at that. Save the place for me. This is a great honor that they bestow. AK, don't be a dick. <laughs> Have fun, DBZ. I'm about to watch the Warriors play the Kings. Till next time. All right, Mac. Appreciate you hanging out tonight. And uh, 
Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm, uh, right now, I'm not working, so... The only reason why I didn't stream, like, all day today was because I actually felt like shit. I think, like, I'm having, like, some sort of, like, weird fucking, like, sickness. Like, the flu type shit. Where, because I literally, like... I had good sleep last night, but I, like, slept all day today because, like, I just felt like shit. So, hopefully, I actually have, like, enough energy to actually, like, stream at some point tomorrow. But, um... Bro, have, have fun watching the game, and uh, hopefully hopefully they win. I'm pretty sure they're... I'm pretty sure they're about to make the playoffs, right? Maybe they're in the play-in game? I can't remember. But anyways, dude, have a, have a good rest of your night, bro. My brother, a true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Damn, how did it start? <laughs> Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine suitor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. <sighs> this is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my... How's my favorite DBZ? What's going on, Richard? How's your day going today? Or night? Day? Night? It is night time. Damn, it's fucking early. late as fuck for you, isn't it? Life to retrieve Shit. your brother's body. Now I prepare Appreciate to you stopping by, bro. For you and all of Swatelfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad, Balder. I have ears, you know, even in my grief. So, don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that. I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, all right? A little old think.
I'm good, you know me and my sleep pattern. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with it, Richard. That's that's my opinion on it. <laughs> oh shit. But no, man, glad you're doing good, though. I'm really glad about that. Why the fuck did I jump down here? Gotta make sure at some point to actually get the uh, my original my original power back. Which one is that again? Booger Rift. This one. Power Rebirth. Yeah. As soon as I fucking see that shit, I'm definitely gonna. Actually, I wonder if I can go to a blacksmith right now before we actually. Continue. These are the finest tools you'll ever lay eyes on. Ah, shit. The finest. I forged better in my sleep. Yeah, is that why you were snooping? Ah, now fuck you. I didn't want to do that. Huh? Ah. Hell yeah. You only get two hooger bars? That's fucked up. That is actually fucked up. What the fuck? Oh well. Let's talk again soon. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. Can you fix this blade? What blade? Oh. Oh, okay. I just got... I just randomly got a fucking... Fiery War Song. Oh, okay. Weapon is set on fire when surrounding by more than three enemies. I love it. Sweet. Love it long time. Because the Moosebell stole everything I had, Dimwit. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> If you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Pickering own... Pickering dwarves. How unusual. Hey, sir. You return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I've dealt with Af Alvat Milna, but not the other two. She builds a fresh army at Af Alvat Milna. It too must be ended. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more 
amenable. I'll return when I'm done, and I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Okay. Um. <sighs> All right then. Should be a good. Uh, should be a good stopping point, honestly. Yeah, because we're gonna get we're gonna like go all the way around here. So yeah, because I want to keep while I'm off of work for a little bit. I do want to keep like a pretty decent sleep schedule. So like in case like oh you start work tomorrow, blah blah blah. I won't have to like you know I won't have to like completely like you know make too much of an adjustment for a uh, sleep schedule. So. But the good news is I will be streaming tomorrow. Hopefully I feel a little bit better and not like completely fucking tired. Um, let me actually, let me actually fast travel over here so we can actually start right there. I'm probably just going to go like travel via long, long ship and all that stuff. So, but I do appreciate everybody for watching. Um, it feels really, really good to be back in a normal streaming schedule for once. Or oh, actually, honestly, just streaming at all. Um, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Recommend my stream. Send videos to friends. And I will see you guys next time on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Dawn of Ragnarok. Hopefully we can fucking finish this soon. Um, peace. See you guys next time.